Imagine this. You're walking into a party convinced everyone is staring at that huge ketchup stain on your shirt. Your heart races. You feel like you're under a blazing spotlight, every flaw exposed. But are they really noticing? Spoiler, probably not. Welcome to the spotlight effect. A quirky bias from social psychology that tricks us into thinking the world revolves around our every move. Today we'll unpack what it is, why it happens, and how to dim that imaginary light. Let's draw it out. The spotlight effect is our tendency to overestimate how much other people notice and care about our appearance, actions, or slip-ups. Coined by psychologists Thomas Gilovich and colleagues, it's rooted in egocentrism. We anchor on our own perspective, assuming others are as fixated on us as we are. In reality, people are too wrapped up in their own spotlights to scrutinize yours. Think of it like wearing a ridiculous Barry Manilow t-shirt to class. You swear 80% of the room will mock it, but observers guess only 20 to 30% even register it. This illusion amps up anxiety but is surprisingly common. Why do we fall for this? It's an egocentric bias in our social judgment. Our brains start from, how do I see myself right now? Anchoring on that vivid self-view, then barely adjust for how little others actually see. Evolutionarily, it might protect us from social threats, but in modern life, it just fuels unnecessary worry. Studies show this happens across situations. Bad hair days, awkward faux pas, even positive traits like a new haircut. The result? We feel more exposed than we are, leading to hesitation in social settings. Picture Alex at a networking event. He trips, spilling coffee everywhere, pants soaked, face red. In his mind, the room freezes. Judgments fly. They'll never take me seriously. But from others' angles? One person offers a napkin and moves on. The rest are mentally rehearsing their own pitches or checking emails. Alex rates the incident a 9-10 embarrassing, but attendees barely clock it at 2-10. This mismatch is the spotlight effect in action. Relatable, right? It hits during presentations, dates, or even Zoom calls with a glitchy background. Don't just take my word, science backs it up. In a landmark 2000 study, Gilovich, Medvek, and Savitsky had participants wear embarrassing t-shirts into a room of strangers. Wearers predicted 50% would notice. Actual, just 23%. Another experiment. In group talks, people overestimated how much their quirky comments stuck out by double. Fast forward to 2007. Brown and Stoppa linked it to social anxiety, finding heightened spotlight feelings during evaluative tasks predict worse self-ratings and phobic symptoms. These findings reveal it's not paranoia, it's a universal cognitive hiccup, affecting everyone from introverts to extroverts. So, what does this mean for you? The spotlight effect can paralyze, holding us back from speaking up, trying new looks, or owning mistakes. But knowing it's an illusion empowers us. It reduces social anxiety, boosts resilience, and frees energy for real connections. Next time embarrassment hits, pause. Are they really watching or is it your inner director over-dramatizing? Embrace the offstage freedom. Life's too short for solo spotlights. For the curious, here are key references in APA style. Dive deeper into Gilovich et al.'s 2000 experiments on t-shirt trials and Brown and Stoppa's 2007 work, tying it to anxiety. Full details on the board now. Ready to step out of the beam? Reflect. What's one spotlight effect moment you've survived? Share in the comments, subscribe for more Psych Insights. Remember, the audience is kinder and busier than you think. Thanks for watching. Now go shine quietly.